Uh, Zig Whitener, I'm the Vice President of Exploration for Guerrero Ventures. Uh, Guerrero Ventures is a junior exploration company um, based here in Vancouver. We are traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol GV and our main project is a gold scarn in southern Mexico in the uh, state of Guerrero. Our flagship project is the Biricu project. It's a 41,000 hectare project in the prolific gold belt where all the large gold scarns uh, are located uh, such as uh, Los Filos, Bermejal, uh, Media Luna as well as El Limon from Torex and uh, the previous one was Gold Corp. Our pro property package sits right on the trend of those deposits. We are probably one of only two junior mining companies who have a really significant large exploration package in that belt. We started exploring uh, last year with uh, our initial drill phase. The project was never drilled in the past and we completed 5,000 meters on the project and uh, also uh, flew an uh, airborne magnetic survey, the results of which just came out uh, last week actually. And uh, it showed us that uh, we do have significant untested anomalies, which uh, we plan on filling up, uh, following up this year uh, towards the end of the year. The uh, exploration program we have planned for the remainder, remainder of the year also call for uh, another diamond drilling program to follow up on some of the regional recon type drilling we did uh, last year. We had some uh, significant success in respect to providing and showing that we do have a mineralized system which is identical to the uh, mines like Los Filos in, at Gold Corp and at uh, Media Luna. We have the right geology, we have the uh, right alteration, and yeah, we, we did get some promising results in respect to uh, gold mineralization in those gold scarns. Well, I think there's, there's two things I can uh, point at, and the uh, first one is uh, our technical group, the management as well as our consultant, we, we have a history of discovery, so in other words, we have been there before, we have searched for deposits, we have located deposits. Some of them are under production. Um, our consultant is a guy by the name of Dave Jones who is probably the expert for the Guerrero Gold Belt. He has discovered the Los Filos deposit and is intricately aware of the geology alteration. He helps me in determining what exactly we um, have in respect to geology. So I think that's point number one. There is success built into the management team in respect to exploration discoveries. Uh, the second thing I think I'd like to point out, it, it is very rare that the junior company in Greenfield's exploration stage has a large land package, like we have 41,000 hectares, like I said, right in the middle of one of the most prolific belts uh, in Mexico, which is a good address, and the, there's been about 30 million ounces which have come out of the belt, and uh, we, we are in a great location, and, and like it is in real estate, it's, it's, it's location, 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 and uh, jun uh, major companies um, are paying attention to the belt, and we like to think that we are one of those um, junior exploration companies who do good work to then obtain the attention from the majors. The catalyst for Guerrero Ventures will be uh, the next drill phase, which we hope to initiate uh, in the second half of this year. We are in the process of um, determining the exact drill locations, obviously as a follow-up to last year's results, as well as the uh, locations which we would think would be giving us the best chance to, for success and for that we're using the results which we just obtained from the uh, airborne geophysics which we flew la uh, in December last year. Personally, I, I think investors should look at what, whatever vehicle they want to invest in, a gold company for, like us for instance, I, I, I would really recommend or strongly advise, look at the management team, look at the history they have look at the experience they have, whether it's in this deposit, that deposit, that area, that belt. It is, if, if you look at the discovery 
of deposits, it's, it's really restricted to a small amount of geologists, exploration guys, who've been there before. And, and for some weird reason, I don't know what it is, but it's usually a select group of geologists who happen to be in the right place at the right time and are able to make a decision in respect to how to proceed forward. So my recommendation is look, look at the management team, look, evaluate whether they have a success, how often have they had success, and uh, can they do it again? That is how I do it. And second, look at the, look at the company um, and, and, and the neighbors they have. If you have a junior company who is in the middle of bloody nowhere, where um, not a lot of com companies have looked, then yeah, well, the chances are uh, probably not as good as if you have a company which is right in the middle of one of the most exciting addresses, have a la large land package, and can um, get a large part of the uh, property, 100%, um, to then control their, their, their own destiny. And I think those are the, probably the two uh, events or the two uh, criteria I use. I mean, there's other ones, but I think the most important ones are the, the people involved, the people who are supposed to lead you to discovery, um, the land package, and, and, and what are they actually looking for. And if there's a junior company like us, we're looking for large deposits in elephant country, I think you have people there who have discovery history. I think that's probably a good bet. Thank you.